Good morning, friends. I had other plans this week, but my brain has not been cooperating in the least, so let us rest by knitting the cowl I wear solidly from about August till May, and which you've asked me about more than once. I am loosely following a pattern from Drops Design, which I will link down below. I am using my favorite locally sourced Sölje yarn from Hillesvog in a lovely shade of green. I think this is what you would call fingerin weight if you are looking for something similar closer to you. On a 2.5mm round needle, I am casting on 128 stitches, but I do recommend swatching first to make sure it fits if you are attempting to follow along. On said stitches, we dive straight into a 2-knit, two 2-purl two rib knit. Catch me avoiding weaving in my ends any time I can. I find that repetitive tasks like these, rib knit, stockinette, hemming, to be really good for the head, especially on days like this where, after a major episode, it feels like your brain has been through a ringer. And, while the worst is over, an exhausted malaise still lingers for a while longer. Once the neck warming section is as long as we would like it, it is time to start the leafy expansion into the shoulder part. For this, you will need to have a number of stitches divisible by 16. As I am following that first row of the pattern, I am also changing to a just slightly larger 3mm needle. And then we just do one more stitch. And another. And another. And honestly, herein lies my crutch with making more knitting videos for you. How do I make a meditative, but oftentimes monotonous practice of knitting into something engaging and enticing for you to watch? How do I find the story? There is progress, of course, but through the same calm practice of knitting one stitch after the other with some variation that makes up the pattern. And something wonderful may slowly emerge from underneath your fingers. In many ways, Perhaps that is the story, an analogy of sorts, if you will. Every time I make this one, which is starting to add up by now, I wonder if I should not just rewrite the parts between the leaves to exclude most of the purl stitches. And yet every time I just don't. But just as I'm starting to get rather tired of all those purl stitches, we near the end of our pattern and can cast off loosely to not scrunch anything up.
You didn't think we were done quite yet, did you? This plain edge is not doing it for me, so after securing it with my ball of yarn, I'm just going to cover it up with a simple scalloped edge. And with that, our darling cowl is finished. Now we just need to give it a warm bath with some wool friendly soap to soften everything up nicely. Before leaving it to dry so it is all ready to head off into their new home. I can also confirm these cows make the most welcome gifts if you live in a colder climate. I for one am going to try to make a few more before the chill sets in yet again. Winter, after all, is perpetually coming. And at the end, not only do I have a lovely new cowl to keep a loved one warm, but I feel a lot better too. I hope you do as well.